Hello and welcome to another video. Today is going to be part of a two-part series where I'm going to be going over the six best productivity tips for developers and programmers. In fact, it's not just for developers and programmers. We're gonna do this for everybody. So the problem that we're going to be solving today is that we as a society over the last 25 to 50 years have transitioned from this pure labor force in the industrial age to in the 1970s we were starting to make this transition in, into the digital age and a mental labor workforce i don't know about you but at the end of the day i i know that mentally i can be exhausted it's not a physical labor sort of thing so I'm going to be outlining several productivity tips here today that will help make the most of your work hours because uh, time is a limited resource. We want to make the best use of that. So making uh, the most of your time and successfully uh, doing so will help you eliminate those distractions during the day uh, while working. So in this two part video, we're going to go over six total tips. But today we're going to start with three. So the first one is using the keyboard shortcuts to your advantage. Second, start with the toughest task every single day. And then the last one will be scheduling tasks in advance. Again, for those of you who do not know who I am or are new to my channel, I am Tom Batman Ziegelbauer and I help empower entrepreneurs and businesses through the use of technology to achieve their goals and dreams. So before we get started today, a, a quick little uh, statistic. Did you know that according to HubSpot that 63% of full-time employees think that working remotely can boost their productivity? I think for the most part that's true. However, especially with uh, working from home today, um, there are still some things that the structure of an office, uh, a lot of people haven't made that transition. And that's, again, one of the reasons that we're going to go over these productivity tips. So, all right, let's dive into the topics for today. Topic number one is using all of the keyboard shortcuts. So person that I follow, he's a freelance software engineer. His name is Lillian Gulia, has found that he could save 62 hours a year by introducing six simple keyboard shortcuts to his um, work day and he breaks it down for uh, these shortcuts and shows you exactly how the math works out on that so you can include just simple keyboard shortcuts like control and enter to send an email so if you're in in gmail as an example and you're writing this thing out and you're already typing instead of then moving your mouse and trying to find that send key all you have to do is hit control enter and control shift backspace to s delete a single word this is a huge one, especially in programming, is instead of hitting backspace, you know, six or eight or 12 times in order to delete a particular word or a particular piece of code, you can just hit that control shift backspace and eliminate that. Double click uh, on your mouse to select a single word, triple click to select a section. I am always surprised with how many people don't know that particular shortcut. Uh, you can also program shortcuts and certain keyboards or scripts to your keyboard and your mouse. So there's lots of programmable mice that are out there in keyboards. So let's move into topic number two, and that is is starting with the toughest task first. So have you ever worked throughout the entire day and you feel like you got nothing done? In fact, I just got off a, <laughs> a Zoom call with somebody who said, I'm working super reactive today. And I said, I'm sorry to hear that. So you can avoid some of these pitfalls or some of those traps by trying not to multitask throughout the day. So choose a few important tasks throughout the day, rank them on a level of importance. And if you take a look at my schedule on Google Calendar, I have two blocks throughout the day. One is at the beginning of the day and it says clear the clutter and the other one is clean up at the end of the day. Um, set up your day for success. 
choose those tasks in advance and prioritize them and put them on your schedule. While most of society sees multitasking as hardworking or productive attribute, this in reality can hurt your productivity. There's only about 2% of us that are really good at multitasking. And while the rest uh, can suffer a loss of productivity as high as 40% according to Forbes. I think that's super true. Quick resource of a, a book that I've, I've read in the past is called Eat That Frog. It talks about basically tackling that biggest task throughout the day, eating that frog and getting it out of the way. Topic three and wrapping up our three topics for today is scheduling tasks in advance with breaks. So you can create these tasks in uh, to-do lists or in apps. There's a couple of them that are out there like Wonderlist or Todoist, or you can set up uh, app workflows through things like Trello as an example. Some of these apps even integrate with other software programs uh, like uh, Zapier as an example. So also be sure to balance all of your productivity apps so you can stay well organized and reduce on complexity. This is super important. I know, especially for programmers, we love tools. And I was actually just talking to a programmer and engineer the other day, and he's like, oh, I've got this, and I've got that, and I've got that. Keep it simple. Remove a lot of those distractions from your life. Really streamline uh, your day and work on the income-producing activities, not all of this other stuff on the side. So today we went over using all the keyboard shortcuts that are available. There's lots of resources. Go out there and uh, Google them starting with the hardest tasks first and then scheduling your tasks in advance. So these are definitely a number of ideas how we can increase our productivity and work smarter and not harder throughout the day. So if you enjoyed watching today and you learned something, be sure to check in and battering that subscribe button down at the bottom of the page here and uh, watch out for that next video where we will cover the next three uh, productivity tips. And remember, People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I appreciate you watching today and we will see you next time. Have a great day.